Let's take a look <laughs> at the second half highlights. Oral Roberts had the lead at the half by nine, and then South Coast State started to make some shots. Baylor Shireman had that stretch where he made four threes in a row. Yeah, he was on fire in the second half. He ends up with 28, 20 of these coming in the second half. Almost the triple-double again tonight with the 28 points, nine rebounds, seven assists. Made the free throws to get it tied. Douglas Wilson was kind of high volume this evening, but he ends up with 20 points, nine rebounds as well. Yeah, he was a monster on the ogle ass. He was cleaning up things, getting second chance opportunities for SDSU to try to keep them in this game. So South Coast State kept chipping away. Got close, got within one or two. Oral Roberts would come back. They had that stretch in the second half where they went seven minutes and made nine straight shots. Lotsis with one of them right here. And five of those nine shots, Tom, four three-pointers. Lotsis and company getting it done. And in this game, Oral Roberts had six guys that hit multiple threes. And as a team, they banged down 14 of them. Six guys in double digits, including Kevin O'Banner, who did not score in the first half. Only played uh, nine minutes in that opening half, but came alive in the second. He hit a couple of threes, one in that stretch as well. And then the bucket at the end, there's the spin inside against Dittlinger. And the dunk late in the game, and another Max Aismas assist right there. But here's the last play. Yeah, well, Banner just a terrific job sliding in here and using his physicality and tipping it in. And or ORU lives to play another day and will play in the tournament championship tomorrow night. 14 threes for the Golden Eagles. South Coast State makes all six of theirs in the second half. But again, Aismas was very efficient. Eight, or excuse me, uh, 20 points, seven of 15 shooting, but the 10 assists, three steals as well for Aismas. Now, so many offensive heroes in this game for Oral Roberts and a team that, quite frankly, has done it with their offense all year long. One of the best scoring teams in the country. And when they needed it here in the second half, that's really what pushed them ahead here. I mean, they scored 47 in the second frame, and it was just enough. Numbers were crazy. Oral Roberts was 14 of 14 at the free throw line. They get beat on the boards by 19, <laughs> but you only got to win by one, and they win it by two.